And since today's topic is about how politics can affect the fate and course of a nation and how important God is in all, is in all of this discussion, I want to talk for one minute or more, maybe two minutes if you don't mind, about something that occurred in my life last night that was very profound, and it was about God, and it was about deceased U.S. soldiers, and it was about a wedding that I went to. See, right after the show, I raced down to the Presidio Memorial Cemetery area in San Francisco, and it was a cold, foggy, windy evening with an outdoor wedding of very religious Jewish people who had come from all around the country. They came to have this wedding at this facility, not because they chose to be there. Well, they chose to be there. They rented the hall. It was the non-commissioned officers hall at the Presidio, which happens to be directly adjacent to thousands of graves of uh, the war dead. And what was astonishing to me was just as the bride and groom were betrothed in an outdoor ceremony, again, the fog was blowing. I was wearing an overcoat you know, on Labor Day weekend. Can you imagine that? People were shivering in the chairs. I noticed that as I was standing behind the area where the bride and groom were being married, there was a stone memorial in the ground with a small bronze plaque. I was the only one who looked at the plaque. And as the Hebrew was being spoken, marrying this young Jewish couple, I looked at the plaque, at this memorial plaque, and it said, in memory of all those who died on D-Day. I looked up and I said to one of the rabbis, I said, do you realize that if it wasn't for these men who died at D-Day, none of us would be here today. We'd all be lampshades. We'd be dead. Whereupon he grabbed my hands and we started to dance around the tombstone. It wasn't really a tombstone. It was a memorial stone. And then five men joined and then ten men. It was a, something out of Chagall. Ten men dancing around this memorial to the fallen of World War II. The profundity was overwhelming to me. Well, at night, of course, I went to sleep and I had agitated dreams as I knew I would because it was a very profound experience, not that alone, but many other experiences. I, I, I had odd dreams. You want to hear the oddest of the dreams? I, I, I remember the wedding occurred at the Presidio National Cemetery in a rental auditorium, and there were thousands of graves of the war dead. I had a vision that the souls of the dead soldiers were drifting over the wedding canopy as this young Jewish couple were being married, that they were finally released from their graves. 70 years later, 50 years later, 40 years later, 30 years later, 20 years later, many of them were rele released from their graves and they looked down with a smile and they knew what they had died for. They knew that they had died so that we could have religious freedom in the United States of America. They knew that there was a reason. Now you say, well, they couldn't have waited. You know, even if you believe in these things, why wouldn't their souls have gone to, to heaven right away? Because they're, in the eternal world, there is no time. And so to us, to us, 1945, the end of World War II was a long time ago. But to some of those men who died at D-Day, it was yesterday. It was a second ago. It was the blink of an eye. And that brings us to today. Can you imagine that at this point in American history, a nation founded on the principles of God is being taken over by a party that despises God, denies God's existence, and wants to stab Israel in the back in order to support the Islamists who would kill the Jews and drive them out of the Middle East? That is how clear this election is to this one man, Michael Savage. It's a vote between those who believe in God and those who believe we should support the Jews in Israel, despite their many blemishes, over the Islamist head cutters. It's that simple. 1-800-449-8255 is my phone number. MichaelSavage.com is my website. You heard it with your own ears. The Democrat Party overruled their own delegates who booed when they reinserted language about God and Israel into the Democrat platform. The Democrat Socialist Party of America is alive and well, which is why I played for you the Communist Internacional, because that's what you're voting for. Many of you don't even know this. I'll take your calls right now on the Savage Nation. The phone number is 1-800-449-8255. As the show emerges today, we're going to be playing one despicable, atheistic, anti-American, anti-Israel uh, uh, individual after another. Every one of them is, a, is an Israel hater. 
Every last one of them is an America hater. Every last one of them is a welfare supporter. Every last one of them wants a bigger welfare state. Every last one of them speaking is a liar through and through. And that's how I see it. It's as clear as a bell to me.